Throughout all of human history, there have been zero recorded instances of a perfect pinball game. There have been a few perfect baseball games, but not a single person has played a perfect pinball game. That is, a game of pinball that has lasted forever. There have been long games, games that have lasted several hours, like the 986 million point scared stiff game played by Zack Sharp. In the middle of this game, Zack went to sleep for the night to let the crate coil cool down. That was a long game, sure, probably lasting at least four or five hours. But as far as we can tell, nobody has ever played pinball forever. But I'm not gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna attempt to shoot the right ramp over and over again on World Poker Tour. The nice thing about my World Poker Tour is most of the time when I hold the right flipper up, it comes to a trap. So from there, I'm gonna keep shooting the right ramp, which means I should always have control, which means I will play pinball's first perfect game. I play this game for about 5 minutes, or roughly .00001% of my lifetime. This is nowhere close to being a perfect game. I mean, 18 million isn't even in a good score territory. So, so what can I learn from this? What can I do to improve? What problems do I need to work on? How do I achieve the perfect game? Well, we can pretty much divide all my drains up, and all drains and pinball up into two categories. We have player drains and machine drains. Player drains, these are drains caused by a lack of skill. This is the player's fault. These are lack of skill drains, and machine drains, which are, you know, the machine doing something unexpected. You couldn't account for it, and this is caused by a lack of luck. These player drains, these are pretty straightforward. I mean, one of my major causes of drains was, was bad flips or, uh, you know, failure to flip. Either I missed a shot at the ramp or I made a bad, you know, recovery flip. I flipped the wrong flipper or, you know, maybe I just didn't flip at all and the ball went straight down the drain. My lack of pinball skill caused these drains. Had it done something different, I would not have drained in these situations. And then your other drains are your machine drains. You know, the machine does something different. Maybe it pops the ball up in the air. I can't do anything about that, right? Game over. Start over. Play a new game. Start at zero points. This is all you get in pinball. You get a little bit of, you know, here's your score. Here's what the high scores are. And that's all there is. No matter what I do in this game, the ball's going to come down the exact same habit trail in the exact same way. You know, it's going to be the same every time, right? Well, here's the ball coming out of the habit trail. I hold my flipper up and see what happens. And, ah, uh, the ball goes a little bit too far. All right, so, uh, we try that again. We should get the same result, right? You know, hold up the flipper. It's gonna fall. No, it, it just stayed there. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> well, I guess that's pretty conclusive. I mean, you know, there's no other way to put it. Pinball is a game of luck. You know, luck and skill. I mean, there's skill in shooting shots and there's skill in recovering the ball, but a lot of it's going to come down to luck, you know. When's the right thing going to happen? Overall, pinball is a game that combines both skill and luck. Sometimes you'll have a great game, and other times the game won't work out so well. But the important thing is to just have fun and keep coming back to pinball. So that's all for today. Thanks. I'm Tim Balls, and be sure to tune into this channel for some more great This is the IFPA player profile of Keith Ellen, the winningest tournament pinball player of all time. Keith has a winning record in pinball against every single player he's ever faced. He's come in first place in a staggering 74 pinball tournaments. What makes Keith so good at pinball? He's mastered the following skills and more. Okay, hold on a second. Did I seriously just put time travel in there? Play back the tape. Yep, I did. Time travel. You must be able to travel through time to play pinball. It, well, it's, it's true. 
I mean, in order to become a better pinball player, you need to take every single drain, work backward from there until you can find the very beginning of the problem. In the week after Papa 20, I was in my bed sleeping. In my dreams, I was playing skateball like I had a dozen times the prior weekend. I found myself missing tons of shots and having the ball bounce wildly around the playfield into the slingshots and otherwise. I just felt totally out of control. But every pinball game comes to an end. It's impossible for anything to happen otherwise. A person simply cannot stay focused for long enough, see things fast enough, or decide quick enough. All pinballs drain. <laughs> 